hello everyone welcome to this channel so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to draft this beautiful victorian corset so if this looks like what you don't want to learn please kindly hit on the like and the subscribe button do well by turning on your notification bell so you can get notified when next we upload new tutorials because this is going to be the part one of this tutorial the next a tutorial will be the part two. We'll be uploading the sewing. We're going to be doing this together. And trust me, I'll be teaching you the easiest and the simplest way to achieve this. And to our new and old subscribers, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the likes, the comments, and the shares on my video. I am grateful, guys. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to hit on the like button like this video so that youtube can make it go viral viral so that other soulmates can get to see it as well and watch okay okay guys let's get straight into the video so guys i've gone ahead to draft my basic bodies pattern this is the front pattern and here is the back okay this is the back so if you want to know how i achieve this the last go through the channel or i'll be drip, dropping the link in the description box on how to draft a basic bodice pattern so please the only difference is that that one is a half scale like from your shoulder to your to your waist but this one is from your shoulder to your top length so the only difference is that you extend your length okay and extend the darts as well but every other thing is the same as you can see the length of this is 22 inches okay but for my corset that is that's my normal top length but for this corset i don't want it longer i'm just going to reduce it by one inch so i'm going to be marking 21 inches instead so i'll be dropping the link in the description box so you can watch it okay for better understanding so next we are going to determine how high we want this top to be so i'll be coming down by six inches you can use seven inches you can use your chest line you can use your bust point depending on how you want it but i'm going to be using six inches okay i don't want it too re revealing so this is our chest line our bust point under bust our half length and the top length or full length okay so my round under bust measurement is 26 inches divided by 46.5 so on my bust line i'm going to be marking 6.5 then measure what i have as the excess which is 1.5 i'll divide it into three half will be going to this other part the center front then the one inch will be going through to the side just watch what i'm doing if you don't understand what i'm saying mark half of an inch and one inch at the other side so then you're just going to connect to your full length don't mind this other part it's totally fine so guys i'll go ahead and connect the other side but i discovered that it will be too slanty okay so at this point i'll mark half of an inch first i don't want that line to be too pointy so i'm just going to connect like so i think this is better then make sure you connect from your under bust now to your bust point that point where we came down from by one inch so you're just going to connect just like you see me doing okay don't make it too curvy so at the full length i'm going to replace that half of an inch we're going to replace it back because we don't want any shortage see so i'm just going to mark what i have is half of an inch so i'll replace it at the full length then connect to my half length to my waistline so that's now going to be our new sideline so guys for the neck width the standard neck width is three inches so from that point i'll get the midpoint which is two then i'm going to connect to my chest line please just follow me carefully go ahead and connect to your boss point instead sorry then make sure you blend up so for the over boss tightening i'm going to be marking half of an inch at this side and three quarter of an inch at the other side but if you have a fuller bust please mark three quarter of an inch on both sides okay so half of an inch and three quarter of an inch then i'm just going to connect like so can you see i've gone ahead to connect so guys at this one inch remember that one inch where we came down from 
I'm going to measure to so that I can know if my le the the length the dart legs are the same. So what I have, they are almost the same. Please make sure you measure this very well so that when you sew in one side will not be longer than the other. So I'm going to determine my sweetheart neck, how deep I want it. So you can use your chest line, you can use your bust point, okay? So for this, I use my chest line. Then at this other side, I'll go ahead and connect to my side. Remember, this is not going to have, there's no sleeve. So at the full length, I'm going to extend this. This part is not really important. You can leave your side like this. But for me, I just want to extend it a little I'll be adding 1.5 inch or 1 inch extra. Then you connect your waistline. And like I said, it's not necessary if you don't want it. Okay, it's optional. You can leave it like that. Then I'll just go ahead and highlight this other part so that it will be more visible. So I'll go ahead and cancel this one out so that I don't make mistake when cutting. So guys, the next thing. So in order to avoid shortage at the side, when you measure the upper part, what we have is 4.5 and this lower part is 5 inches. So we have to extend it else, we have to add up else you have shortage. So get the midpoint of that line, then since the difference between them is half of an inch, you go outward by half of an inch like so, then you're going to connect, you're just going to connect to your boss points. After doing that, I'm going to connect from that point to my waistline. Just watch what I'm doing. Connect to your waistline and also you're going to connect from that point to the chest line, okay? So we are still going to work on this later on. But this is what you should have. So at the center front, on the half length, I'm going to measure what I have is three. I'll get the midpoint, okay? So we want to snatch our waist. We want to create this, that line. All those lines you used to see at the front of your Victorian corset. So we want to achieve that. So you are just going to place your ruler at that point. Then you can decide to make it straight or slanty. That totally depends on you. So if you don't want to reduce your waistline, Please just go ahead and still measure. If you don't want to reduce it, then you are just going to cut after marking like this. So you are going to cut. There's not going to be that intake. But since I want to snatch my waist from 26 to 24 inches, so the difference is 2 inches. So one will be for the front pattern, then the second will be for the back. So for the one for one now, the one that is going to be at the front, I'm going to be dividing this one into four. So one, if you divide it, you have 0 0.25. So that simply means that 0 0.25, we are going to be, the that intake on our half length is going to be 0 0.25, you get. So remember our fabric is on fold. Let's assume it's on fold now. So the center front is 2, 0 0.25 times 2 is 0 0.5. The side front is into 2, 0 0.25 times 2 is 4. 0 0.5 so when you add this together it will be one inch okay so now we divide 0 0.25 into two and mark on our dot line so i'll be marking 0 0.125 that is one eighth of an inch guys please follow me carefully then i'll connect it to the top if you don't want to snatch your waist you want to use your actual waist measurement you don't need to do all of this just go ahead and cut out but since i want to snatch mine by two inches i'll just go ahead and do the proper division then connect like so for the side that for the side front i'm going to get the midpoint what i have is three and a half so i'm going to divide it into two, one and three quarter of an inch can you see then i'll i can decide to mark wherever i want it you can make it slanty you can make it straight but make sure that your ruler is at that point that center line so just go ahead and just let your creativity guide you then i'm just going to mark out like this okay so our that intake is going to be one eighth of an inch on both sides when you measure everything you have 0 0.25 which is our that intake so at this side i'll mark one eighth of an inch at the other side i'll mark one eighth of an inch again then i'll go ahead and connect guys i'm supposed to cover close my side that before doing this particular part so i didn't notice on time not until when i was cutting so i had to close up my dart then draw a new dart line don't worry you understand better when we get to that point so i'll just go ahead and 
trace this one out so that it will be more visible okay so guys the next thing we'll just go ahead and cut so as you can see you cut through the side and the center so you are gently going to close up your side that then cut this other part out okay so i'm going to use my masking tape or cello tape whatsoever you have just to tape these down and put them in place as you can see i've gone ahead to clean my that line because we we'll have to draw a new one get the midpoint the mid we have the midpoint already this is the midpoint then i'm just going to take my ruler and i'll go ahead and draw my style line my dark line okay so like i said you can make it straight you can make it slanty okay so if i had not closed up the dart the lines will not be in place you the lines one it will not be a straight line you don't know how to put it so the dart intake is one eighth of an inch on both sides go ahead and connect like so so connect to the top just the same thing we did the only difference is that we didn't close up the dart initially okay so this is it i can go ahead now and blend up this other side just go ahead and blend it up then cut out okay guys this is it so the next thing i'm going to be labeling this because we don't want to make mistake this is the center front one center front two side front one side front two please you have to do this because by the time you cut this out they will look the same then you're going to put this arrow as well so that it will show that these are the parts that you'll be joining together. Please, please put your arrow just like you see me doing. You don't want to make any mistake at this point. Then after doing this, you go ahead and cut out just like you see me doing. So guys this is it and if you want your yoke if you want to add yoke to it this is our yoke our front yoke okay so here our pattern for the front then this is the back we are just going to start drafting so I've, i'm just going to connect my back armhole this is not really necessary because i don't want yoke okay so i'm just doing it for so you all can see so next i'm going to pick up my front pattern remember this is our chest line and our half length for the back so i'm going to be measuring from the half length for the front to the full length which is about five and three quarter i'll come to the back on the half length for the back i will mark the same thing five and three three eight of an inch instead sorry it's five and three eight of an inch then i'll go ahead and connect remember for the front we actually reduce the length so that's the same thing we are doing to the back okay we want the sides to be equal we want the side to be equal okay so now i'll extend this other side then i'll be marking 1.5 inches remember we added 1.5 inches to the front so whatever you do to the front you do to the back as well and get your new side line so for this corset, it's going to have loop at the back. So I want it four inches wide open. So I'm marking two inches here so that when you open it up, it will be four. So you can, this is going to be straight. But if you don't want it straight, you want it slanty. So at the waistline, you at the hem of the top, you are going to be marking one inch so that when you connect, it, it will be slanty, not straight. But I don't want that. I want mine to be straight. So I mark two inches at the chest line and two inches at the hem of my blouse so then you are going to connect like so so this is going to be our loop we are going to be adding our eyelet to this part okay so we are going to cut this particular part out so for we are going to tighten this upper part with quarter of an inch too then you are going to blend it up we just want to tighten the upper chest line the chest line just go ahead and tighten it like this okay so guys 
Remember, we snatched the front by one inch. We are going to do the same thing to the back as well. So get the midpoint of this part. Then the midpoint is two inches. Then I'll get my dart line. So for this part, you are going to your dart line is going to be straight and not slanty. So you are going to make it straight, okay? Then you are going to what we have is one inch. You are going to divide it by two. That is 0 0.5 is going to be here. So that's 0 0.5 now. I'll share it on this dart line. That is 0 0.25 here and 0 0.25 here. So making it 0 0.5. So I only I only have the dart line at the side from the center, the, the side back. The center back is not big. It's too small. So I'll just do everything at the side front. Unlike the front that the, the dart was at the center front and the side front, okay? So for the neck, you can make it straight or you can make it a, a little bit curvy like this, the neck. So I'll be going with the second option. So that's it basically for the back, okay? So you are going to label it side center back one, place the arrow like this side back one side back two and place the arrow like this for the center back is just having one piece because we didn't divide the dart line we didn't have a dart line at the center back it's just one then the side back we have two dart line so that's just the difference between the front and the back and if you don't want a dart intake just put the line and cut out without snatching anything okay so guys, please, if you have watched to this end and you have not yet subscribed, please do so and share this video and like this video most important, importantly so that YouTube can make this video go viral and endeavor to watch the ads on this video, please. That's the only way of saying thank you for the tutorial. Please endeavor to watch the ads on this video. So I just went ahead to place the sides together. As you can see, they are equal after closing up my dart. And I've gone ahead to transfer them to my fabric. For the center front, this is actually cut on fold. Then I have three quarters of an inch as the side allowance and not half of an inch, please. I use three quarters of an inch. For the center front too, I added three quarters of an inch all around and I have four piece two lining and two actual fabric you repeat the same thing can you see and i've added my hair stay please you are adding three quarter of an inch all the way around as your side seam allowance then you have two piece for your lining two piece for your actual fabric make sure you iron your hair stay or your interfacing okay please that's what i went ahead to do behind the camera so in our next class, we'll be learning how to sew this, okay? So it's going to be very interesting. Please make sure you have subscribed to this channel and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when we post new tutorials.